Hey guys, this is Caleb with DSLRVideoShooter.com and today we're gonna talk about battery grips. Now, uh, kind of a weird thing with these cameras is, well not really weird, but photography, um, the standard batteries work great. You're taking photos, checking them out, reviewing them. But when we get into video with these, uh, the batteries go really, really fast. So um, it is good to have tons and tons of, of Canon batteries. I will be touching on different kinds later. Um, but yeah, we run through them like crazy and you're, I'm, I'm finding, at least I am, that I'm changing batteries a lot. Um, and what's so great about these battery grips is, uh, first of all, they can handle two. So you're getting double the amount of usage and, and length and how long you can use the camera. But they give you a couple other benefits as well. The first of which is most of these come with a special magazine that gives you uh, the ability to use um, double A's. So that's great because almost anywhere you go, you're gonna be able to find double A's or take them with you. Um, most of them you're able to put six double A's in and then get battery that way. Um, if you're like me, you probably have a bunch of rechargeables uh, lying around so you can stick those in there. And it's just another option to power it. The other, um, another benefit is the actual grip itself. Um, you're adding weight, which if, if you're, all you have is your body lens and this sucker, it's gonna give you a lot more stability than just having the body and a lens. Um, and you're also given a little more functionality with having more buttons to use. Um, because the idea is that you're using the camera vertically and you have your, your buttons on there. Um, because most of us are gonna be keeping this down uh, as opposed to using the camera vertically, that won't be used as much. But it does give you another option if you're doing kind of a hybrid shoot, doing some video, some stills, um, that, that can be really handy. So I have with me here three different uh, battery grips. I have um, the Canon, all these are 70. Um, each one of these brands, you can find multiple different camera uh, grips. We're gonna focus on the 70 ones and they, the features are similar across um, all the different battery grips. So the first one is the Canon grip. This is the BG uh, E7 for the 70. And with all the battery grips from Canon, you're gonna notice uh, they're probably going to be within $100 and $150. Um, but the, the, the Canon one, uh, it has a very similar feel, the rubber part of it, to the actual camera. Um, uh, and on, on this one, the, there's rubber on the back as well as the front, so both parts of contact have the rubber. The buttons feel almost identical to that of the camera, uh, the actual shutter release and the, the scroll wheel um, feel exactly the same. It's literally like they pulled it off the camera and stuck it on here. So if you if you like the shutter release on uh, the 7D, it is just like that, very springy. You don't really hear a click. Let me pick that up on the mic. Um, the one thing I liked a lot about this one, as opposed to the other two, is the door on the back, it almost takes no effort to open and close. Like I can actually just, using gravity, close it, which is really nice. You don't have to futz with it much at all. Um, putting batteries in are, is pretty easy. The other two, uh, it's a little finicky, especially with the magazine for the, the AA batteries. So, so that's the, the Canon, uh, but it is kind of pricey, and that's what's great about these other two is they're not nearly as expensive. Um, this one here is the Velo uh, battery grip. This is a newer one that's been coming out. Um, Build-wise, it's almost identical to the Canon. Uh, rubber on both sides, the rubber is a little different. It actually has, feels rubbery, more rubbery, um, a little more grip actually, surprisingly. Uh, the buttons are, you can hear that probably clicking sound. Um, on the 7D at least, I know some of the, like the 5D, there is an actual click when you pull it down, you have to actually hear the shutter and there's no button clicking. Um, and I do know that bugs some people, so both uh, the Velvo, Velo and the um, Zikos both have kind of a click. Uh, I like that personally, as opposed to the other ones. 
Uh, the rest of the buttons do feel a lot more plasticky, not nearly as uh, high quality as the, the Canon. But this one, for the 7D at least, you're gonna find for about $70. Um, they get cheaper for uh, different camera brands. So you're getting close to half uh, as expensive as the actual Canon brand. So, so that's a big plus. Everything else is pretty much identical in their position. Um, and then finally, we're gonna look at this guy here, um, the uh, Zucos, Zucos. And what I like about this one is it differs from the other two in the actual grip. Um, now this isn't the case with some of their, like the, I think the 5D and some of the other ones uh, aren't like this, but the 7D version and the T2i version both have um, custom finger outlines uh, built into the grip. Whereas these two here, the Canon and the uh, Velo, both have a very smooth and flat uh, kind of a, uh, from the bottom view there. Whereas this guy has a groove in between middle finger and ring finger. And they also on the back have a groove where your thumb goes. I really, really like this one uh, for that reason. It, uh, it gives a little more grip and stability. Um, buttons are pretty much the same as uh, the Velo. And this is actually my favorite out of the three. Um, so I went ahead and picked one of these up for, for myself. Uh, and one thing you'll notice with all of these, and it's really a pain, is that the, um, the actual quarter 20 to attach it to a tripod, when you actually put it on your camera and you try to put this on a quick release and set it on like a set of rails, because of the position, the lens will be actually be offset from the center of the rails. So like right now, if I just take the camera, stick it on my rails, it's directly in line. So my follow focus and my matte box will fit perfectly with it. The grips on the other hand are offset. So that's something to think about if you have a rail setup already, is you're going to have to compensate or use some kind of a plate system to offset it a little bit. But where I think these grips really shine is when you just want to take the camera and uh, go sh shoot some footage handheld uh, without a rod system because it will give you that little bit of extra stability um, and uh, just a little larger body to work with. So we're gonna go ahead and show you how to put it on. Um, they all come with these caps so you can keep the contacts clean. Um, you just pop those off and then the door on your camera has a very, very small little uh, lever that you, you pull and it's spring-loaded and then the door just pops right off. Uh, one cool thing with these, these grips is there's actually a compartment that you can uh, stick that in so your door stays with you, it lives on your, your uh, battery grip. Then it just slides in, um, there's the contacts go directly in where the battery would go and you're given a thumb tightener that tightens down, has a little uh, not too much play so you can really get that sucker snug and you're all set to go. You can turn it on um, and you're on the go. Now, this works just like putting a normal battery in your camera. Um, so Canon batteries, you'll see the, um, how much info is on there, how, many, how much battery is left. Uh, I did notice though, uh, just like some of, some of the batteries don't have the chip built in, uh, so you're not able to tell how much battery you have left. That works just the same on here. So if you're using an off-brand without the chip, you still won't be able to see uh, battery information. Um, but it is nice when you put the batteries in there and add the grip, you have a nice, uh, much heavier um, setup. So I love this right here. I have um, the LCD viewfinder and I like this setup a lot because with the grip, lens, body, and the viewfinder, I'm really given a lot more stability when shooting handheld. Um, but yeah, as I said before, it will be offset, so your lens will be off to the, uh, to the left when you try to mount this on any kind of rod system, uh, which, is, which is kind of a bummer, but I have seen guys use plates and whatnot to offset that. Um, so I, I love these things. Um, I went on a couple trips and I didn't have to change any batteries the entire time. 
uh, which is really nice uh, to not have to worry about that, just leave them in there. And um, what I have, another benefit to using these is if you are using any kind of rig or cage that blocks access to the battery, so where you have to take your camera off, um, these grips offer a way to quickly access the batteries from the back. Um, so if you had a rig that was tall enough to handle a grip, you could just leave this on there all the time and to access your batteries, you just flip open the door on the back and uh, you're good to go. So, so that's battery grips. Um, the Velo and the Zico's uh, both come in at around $70, $80 for the 70. Um, the T2i version is closer to $50. So I'll put a link to all that stuff uh, at dslrvideoshooter.com. Um, so check them out. I really think they are uh, worth picking up, especially if you're doing um, a lot of handheld with just like a camera and a lens. I really think that is a uh, situation where these will become incredibly useful and helpful. As always, you can find more reviews and content on dslrvideoshooter.com. So we hope to see you there and I'll see you next time.